Okay, I just want to add a little something else about this flex just to explain about why this technique, this trick is working where when you reference the sixteenths from another wave to um, um, like take the sixteenth or whatever quantize markers from a separate region and that is being those transient markers are being handed over to another region that has no transient markers by using the Q reference right when they're grouped okay when I took this region which you saw in the flex number four video in this preview series right when I t I drew in 16 six I drew in 16th transient markers manually here in the sample editor right across this two bar wave so there was a total of 32 drawn in man manually drawn in transient markers and then when I tried to quantize it to 16th all those transient markers snapped perfectly to 16th like they are now when I put it into a swing it works because there are 16 transient markers per bar and 16 swing requires 16 transient markers per bar so that works but where it doesn't work was when I switched it to something lower than 16 like 12th now if you look down at the referencing wave here and imagine that was the long wave when I drawn in manually a whole row of 16th division transient markers look what happens this has got 16th transient markers across it and it's a two bar length so there's 32 in total now when I put it into 12th each bar and this is a bar from here to here okay each bar then only needs 12 transient markers to achieve the quantize so it knocks out the other four that take it to a total of 16 per bar so across two bars when I put this into twelfths it's knocking out a total of eight transient markers which are simply knocked out that but they still exist because they're there so th the reason when I put manually put sixteenths across this wave and then try to put it into twelfths and eights and things the reason it didn't work is because if you look at this wave which has got sixteenths across it um, and there are two bars right so there's 32 in total um, you put it into 12 and it simply grays out the transient markers it doesn't need to make 12 per bar so therefore that's why you kept getting these still getting the stutters at 16th because it although it grays them out they're still there they're still being sounded so that's why manually putting the transients in and then quantizing to something lower than 16 doesn't work because the four that are being kicked out and unused still sound they've just got nowhere to go because there's only 12 steps for the quantize and there are four extra markers that haven't got anything to snap to the reason it works when you use a group and one wave is giving its transients to the other wave is because if I put it into 12s this wave then only uses 12 transient markers per bar therefore it only hands over 12 transient markers to the other region that is part of the group and that's why it works that's why I can put this wave into 12s and it still puts the 12 transient markers in look per bar there's one then three then three then three then a final one at the end here okay that's one bar from here across to there right but in the space where it there aren't any transient markers required to make 12 they're, they're still visible in the referencing wave but they're not being passed over to the accepting wave and that's why I can put this into twelfths or eighths because if I put it into eighths the referencing wave below still retains the markers in between eighths like every other marker is still retained it just becomes grayed down but it would sound if I opened up this region but it only passes over eight markers per bar to the wave that's receiving its reference transient markers and that's why it works and that's why when you put them in manually it doesn't work because they the physical transient markers are still inside that region and even if you snap it snap it to twelfths or eighths they still are there they they have to be there because there's nowhere for them to go 
See what I mean? So okay, so that's why that trick works. And if I've complained about it, my complaint is simply that surely during all the beta testing of this product, somebody, because they must use experienced logic users for beta testing, right? Surely someone like me discovered this trick and then went to the head Apple beta testing guy and went, hey, look at this, you can do this. If you can do this, why don't we make it so that you can put transient markers across a region at whatever uh, whatever interval, you, you know, division you want, but rather than them being referenced from some other audio region, that you can provide some sort of invisible reference to put in the markers, and then the quantize simply takes only the markers it needs out of the total that are being given to the region from some invisible reference. The invisible reference would in effect be the same as having an audio file sitting there muted. It would be handing over the transient markers at the division you choose to a new wave. But you just wouldn't have to import a wave and do all this linking. Anyway, that was my gripe really, that because you can do this trick, surely somebody in Apple discovered this trick during beta testing and therefore why didn't they make it a... Uh, a feature that you could switch on easily without having to use a reference wave and stuff. But there you go, that's how to do the trick and that's why it works when it's done as a trick with a referencing wave passing the transients over and why it doesn't work when you manually draw the transient markers across yourself. Okay, alright, let's move on from here then.